Hi, uh, Kelvin here. Um, just updating my biltong making video uh, that I put on YouTube a little while ago. Uh, yeah, this is a lot better recipe. Um, so it's still the same topside steak. Um, I'm making the hot sticks. The, um, they call it chili bite sticks. Um, I've tried many years to mix my own spices and not a hell of a lot of success. Um, so I I buy uh, Crown National Spice, this one over here is a mixture of Freddie Hirsch and Crown National and it's it's for the, the chili bite uh, sticks. Uh, you also get the Crown National Safari Biltong Spice which is your traditional flavor Biltong. But yeah, this is going to be a short video. Um, so you can cut your steaks to however thick or thin that you want with the fat on or the fat off. It's totally up to you. So. Because I'm making the chili bite sticks, these are quite thin. So this is a kilo of topside steak, which is quite a cheap cut. Uh, there's no, you don't need to go out and buy rum steak or anything like that, unless it's cheaper per kilo. But I found this is the cheapest. So you cut it into however thick pieces that you want, um, and for every kilo of meat, you have 50 grams of your Crown National spice. So all you do, um, this is your brown vinegar, just normal brown vinegar. Um, just grab a couple, dunk it in there, just swirl it around. So this is the, the most important part because the brown vinegar is what stops, uh, what, what makes your biltong cure um, without it going off. It's like a natural preservative. Just make sure you coat them all, all well. Okay, that's done. Now you take your spice mix and just throw it all over the meat, uh, just like so. And then you get in and you mix it all up very, very well. Very well covering all the sides. But uh, like I said, I highly recommend Crown National. Um, you just you don't have to bother with quantities of how much coriander, how much salt, how much pepper, whatever. It's the taste. If you want traditional South African biltong taste, you go with them. Okay, and once that's all nicely coated, just spread it around a little bit. Now this is a Tupperware product. Um, works very, very well. It's for marinating meat. Um, so just seal it up. And that goes into a fridge for four hours, turning every half an hour. So every half an hour, flip it over so it gets a nice coverage. And then for four, once that's four hours is up, um, you can pull it out, put it on your hooks, and you put it in your biltong box. And I've made this one over here, which is a very cheap version. So it's got a couple of tent poles that have been drilled, uh, holes for the tent poles going through the plastic. You get these at like your shopping centers and things. And there's air vents at the top and air vents on the other side where the light globe is. And um, I've got a 120 millimeter extraction fan on the back side of it, uh, which you can get from like electronic store or whatever. But so long as there's, there's air movement around the meat, it'll be fine. Um, and then, like these little sticks, they'll be perfectly dry in, say, three days. Um, obviously, your bigger pieces of bultong will take four, five, maybe six days, depending on how dry you want it. So, um, that's it. Simple, easy, and anyone can do it. Cheers. Bye.